1960. <laughs> we arrived on the Sunday, so it was the Monday we went to the Celtics game. So that was really cool, just like arriving at the game and feeling the hype of like a pro sports game. Um, however, I was super grateful to be able to lift in the facilities that they had at the fitness, um, there was the fitness club uh, right next to the track were really nice and all the staff were really nice. Um, so that was kind of the first day. Move to the dance music. <laughs> um, being in a training camp and not being able to train the way you were supposed to is a little hard on your psyche, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we still have to get in the training. Um, we're gonna kind of try to adapt the plan for the next few weeks that we were hoping to do. Um, just do it, no, no impact. So for me, most of the time that's in the pool. So today I have been at the track, I did my mobility, I did kind of all my physio stuff that I was supposed to. And now I am catching Uber over to Boston University. I'm gonna jump in the pool there and try and do like a simulation of the workout I was supposed to do yesterday. Day two, Tuesday, I decided to leave that little clip in. Don't get me wrong, everyone on the trip, I love you guys. I loved watching you train, I loved watching you race. Um, you're all phenomenal. Um, but I think we've all kind of experienced injury at this point. And um, that was just a very real representation of what I was feeling at that time. And I didn't feel that great sitting watching everyone run. But my pool workout really kind of helped me feel like I was getting good work in still. We had to go into a Harvard, so that was really cool. I had raced at that track once, I think, before in my undergrad. Um, amazing facility, and we had a lot of fun. <laughs> these, are, these are good. I like these. Your gloves. Thank you. Oh, are you recording? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Galaxy thing in the middle of the road? Very. It is. That was the start of our star watching. Uh, in Boston, we got to watch um, two distance, very talented distance runners in the middle of a workout. And then Alec found out later that they were on, the guy on the bike was filming for track access. So unfortunately, we didn't make the cut, even though we were being dorks cheering on the side. Um, hopefully that made their workout a little bit better. Um, but we got to see some of the facilities. Um, it was really cold that day. Um, probably the only day that you wished you had a few more layers on because the rest of the time was pretty mild, like hovering around zero, not much wind. You get away with like a sweater. Um, but all around a, a really fun day and we had a really good team dinner that night. We had some taco bowls. <laughs> also this one. Mm. What about? I thought that said how to not grow old. <laughs> we don't need that. How to innovate. You don't need this one. Put <laughs> 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 on your mat and your hair. Okay, we got it now. For personal reasons. <laughs> For Actually, because New Balance was quite generous in the gear that they gave us for this trip, um, and also as one of the New Balance ambassadors from last season, I've been able to receive a lot of amazing gear from them over the past few months. Um, I tried not to spend anything at the store, but we did go to the factory store after the workout, and I saw a bag. I kind of wanted a new training bag, because the one I have is just a little bit small for all my stuff, and my coach uh, makes fun of me because... I am just a person of chaos whenever I'm trying to find anything. So I saw one and it was this like blue camo material. And I was like, oh, it's kind of the perfect size, but I'm just like, that's not me. That's um, not something I would normally buy. It was a good, like it was 30% off because it was at the outlet. But um, so I kept walking. I was like, it's fine. You're not going to get anything. And then I saw on one of the mannequins that they had it in like an army green and I love green. So I removed the bag from the uh, mannequin and I now am the proud owner of said bag and it has been serving me very well. These straps are like perfect for putting it kind of on your shoulder or it's got like the long one. 
I feel like sling around your back. Um, so I'd say that was one of the highlights was finding a piece that I could buy and use and be happy about. Tori, what's your key block advice? Um, today I'm gonna go with big arms. I think that's a good one when you get closer to race day or on race day. Um, it works well as a cue for me, but it still allows your body to just naturally do what it knows to do, what you've trained it to do. When you talk about the depths of the specificity of blocks, um, so <laughs> yeah, big arms, big ups. I just finished my swim workout for the day and I've got three minutes to my Uber comes, so I thought I'd do a little snack date, snack, snack update. The noon flavor of the day is watermelon. So we've got that fizzling in the water. And then we've got crunchy peanut butter cliff bar for some protein and a little apple blueberry. Um, and those three are kind of my go-to after workout. Noon for some electrolytes, uh, go-go squeeze for some quick sugars, um, probably a little bit of fiber, but not much. Um, and then the Cliff Bar, I like these ones because um, they don't have milk or whey powder, so a little calories, a little protein, a little carbs. Um, yeah, so I'm just heading back to the track. I'll probably get there around 11, hoping to maybe catch some of the tail end of people's workouts. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a really good workout and it's just been good to get, get the heart rate up, get the blood pumping and with the speeder sessions in the shallow end. Um, hmm? Alex? <laughs> What is this? What is this trip doing to you? Just like being in this atmosphere and this lifestyle is just like reinvigorating the dream to be a pro athlete. That's pretty sick. You too. <laughs> <laughs> How are we feeling? Or why please don't hear now? As feeling as I can feel. Yeah. Whatever a feeling is feel like, I'm feeling. It. I feel great right now. This is the best Do my you want to do a stride with us or are you ready for the gym? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll okay. do another stride. I'll pull down to you. I need to return these people's items. Oh, who comes in like this? No, because I'm old like this. <laughs> you were like this. I went like this. Leave me alone. That's what I should do. Swan, you bet it. My mom and my dad are short, relatively speaking. My dad's like 5'10". My mom is probably 5'5". Five five. My grandmother on my dad's side was 6'3". I was just about to ask. And my grandfather was 6'8". They were giants. Yeah, and then the, the parent, my grandparents on my, on, my, on my mom's side are just normal height. Normal people. So like, my sister is 5'11". My sister's uh, what? She's 5'9". I'm 6'1". My brother Jay is six foot, and my oldest brother is six three. Pretty tall. Yeah, my mom hates it. <laughs> Where are you at, Nicholas Cage? Like Maybe the lobster. It's a lobster. The Boston lobster is that a thing? Yes, I think so. Oh, what are they doing now? Oh my. <laughs> oh my. And up here we have Gandalf. <laughs> I think that's a woman. And if you look up here, you can see the anchor that they used for Titanic. That's actually what brought it down. They think it was the iceberg, but the anchor was too heavy and it cracked the boat. <laughs> Is that a video? Off the China. I do look a little sleepy, eh? Um, wow. 
<laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> no. no, no. no. Well, basically, it's, just, it's the only house left in the 17th century. Mm -hmm. What happened to the other ones? I mean, they're destroyed. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And he killed his competitors, but oh, oh boy! <laughs> Conspiracy theory. <laughs> Thank you. What did you get? That's not how it looks like it's pronounced. Chowda. Chowda. There's like a building with a art, like huge art chain. Whoa. Boston Wine and Food Festival. Oh, nice. That is so cool. Hey. <laughs> 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 no, literally, <laughs> why you That's why I'm activated. iPhones, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Marco, oh, no. we found it. Yeah. <laughs> we win. <laughs> Is this thermal mannequin? That mannequin actually sweats like a human and moves like a human. So I'm not sure if you saw the joints, but Andy walks. This was our last day in the Airbnb, and from there we all packed up and went to the one of the meet hotels, which was the Marriott. Um, so it was our last morning in the house, kind of had a chill breakfast. It was the only day we didn't have to get over to the track right at 9 a.m. Um, because we had access later that day for pre-comp for most of the athletes. Um, that day was really cool. That was our first access into the behind the scenes of New Balance, so we started to get to know... Um, the faces behind the product that uh, a lot of us have fell in love with over the last few years as athletes. Um, so that was really cool. They were so willing to answer all of our questions. Um, we got to watch um, a couple athletes testing out the products. Um, some that were competing later that weekend um, got to see this like little locker room setup they have uh, with five of their kind of top athletes at the moment, uh, one of which is Cindy McLaughlin, so I had a lot of fun taking a photo with some of her kit and uh, getting a close-up look at that. Um, so those moments that we got to see the behind the scenes of New Balance were really, really special. Um, I think from like an athlete standpoint, getting access to that kind of information about the shoes that we're training in, um, but for myself also as someone who has a design background in architecture and also a lot of my hobbies um, are kind of on that artistic design side um, to be reminded of the people who 
bring these products to life. Um, and that was quite exciting because that's a world that I'm a little detached from right now um, as I'm running most of the time and I'm not working as an architect. Um, we had our first dinner with New Balance. They were so incredibly generous, um, taking out to us out to restaurants um, all three of the nights that we weren't at the Airbnb. Um, so that saved us from kind of splitting up and going out on our own um, and saved us a few dollars as well. So thank you again for that. That was incredible. Because I'm not racing, I am taking the opportunity to um, head over to the New Balance Marathon US Trials Watch Party. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Hopefully get to meet a few new people. Um, so I am heading downstairs now. The elevators here are a little different. Um, you like, there's like an iPad and you click what floor you're going to. And then I guess it optimizes which one's gonna get you there first. And so it tells you which elevator to stand in front of. And I think it's like A through E or A through H or something. Anyway, so I'm gonna go and summon the elevator because it could take me a while to get downstairs. We are on the 18th floor, so the view is awesome. Um, especially I want to get a night shot because this building beside me is giving like, I don't know, the Continental from John Wick, like somebody who owns a secret society is living up here and that's their office. Anyway. Taking it all in. And because you summon it from the outside, there's no buttons on the inside. Am I doing an interview with Aurora before, uh... <laughs> What's been the toughest part? Um, oh, frozen. Uh, we got Sydney, we got Sadie. Oh, that was a very early view. And the bear sing, but nice. And then we're also watching the marathon. Okay, here with Alex now. We're at the Boston University track. Just watched Tori run. Pretty solid run, I think. So happy with that. And she's in her Arctic singlet, which is nice. So uh, great. The maximum the run to wear. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. So see who else is running, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, uh, the miles to look out for. Uh, yeah. We got Alec coming up, um, and yeah, some fast times. And yeah, Matthew too. So pretty sick. Okay. Who do we have here? Lauren Gale. Lauren Gale. Emergency contact, David Carell. <laughs> Love to see it. This is where the magic happens.
Boston. We fly out this evening. Uh, most of us around five or five o'clock. Um, yeah, I have a lot of packing to do. Um, I have to go meet Koski at 11, so I'm going to do as much packing as I can. I have a quick bite to eat, maybe get a coffee in. Um, thankfully, we were given late checkout, which is amazing. And yeah, hopefully you get to see maybe a couple of things around the city before we go. Um, what I am doing though, which might be a little weird, but in order to get a little bit more fiber into my diet, I like to put chia seeds in my tea. So I just like normally brew them directly in the tea so they don't um, stick to the bottom, but they just kind of get um, they soak up the water and they get that kind of gelatin consistency and I just do it fiber it in my diet um, But G seeds also Will have a little bit of energy and protein and whatnot. So I'll get that going to start my day And then I'll probably go grab some food as soon as I am done my interview and I will keep packing we are Heading things think like when I left the Airbnb I had a lot of clean stuff and now I feel uh, I feel like none of it's clean now so I might just pack it up and wash it all as soon as I get home and that's fine once I kind of got through the pile I was pleased to see that some of my packing from the Airbnb is still intact so I'm just gonna fold things and kind of archive them file them into my suitcase Lots of hairs everywhere. Um, and so I will do that with this stuff and uh, hopefully that won't take too long. What are we looking at, Tori? Um, sewing people sewing. Sewing people? Yeah, it's a new thing. Tell you what you're doing. Towards the end of the trip, I was talking to Koski and Quinn a lot about uh, what I got out of the trip and what I was, what my expectations were kind of met or exceeded. Um, they were definitely exceeded because there was so much stuff that we were kind of given explanations for, but the big picture was just by no means um, something I, I could have imagined um, and the kind of access that we had um, within New Balance, um, just like the hands-on direct it was just incredible. Um, so even before I knew that I wasn't going to be able to train properly um, or race um, at the Saturday meet, um, I kind of looked at this trip as an opportunity to like get a taste of that pro athlete environment. And that's something I've been able to experience at training camps in the past, um, but I haven't done that in kind of over a year. And so I kind of told myself that 
coming into this trip. Um, I was gonna have my fun. I was gonna soak in all of this like inspiration, motivation that I felt like I was missing. Um, and when I came back, I was gonna do everything I could to maintain that going into this big outdoor season um, that has a few teams you can try to make because that is still um, a goal that I'm working towards, which is, is to represent Canada and to make a national team. And so I'd say that that was successful. Um, it inspired me to be uh, an individual athlete and someone that can kind of see that training isn't always going to be enjoyable. It's not always going to be what you planned. Um, but it reiterated this, like, no, I, I do love this sport and I do want to when I kind of get over these bumps and get back to feeling the joys of like a hard training session um, and, you know, running a PR, that kind of thing. Um, but it also, as a CTFL athlete, it kind of really emphasized that we are working with an incredible uh, group of people um, from the CTFL directly, but New Balance has done such amazing things for the CTFL from an early standpoint. And so to be able to represent a company like that is really um, quite a privilege. Um, and so that's something that helps bring whatever goals I have as an athlete to like a bigger team. Like I want to um, represent this company well. I want to represent the CTFL well. And I want to perform well as much as I can, um, both on and off the track um, as an individual. So I think I would like to thank um, CTFL. Um, I'd like to thank Quinn and Koski for all the work they put in, all of the reps who met at New Balance, um, Scott, Dave, and Jim. Um, you guys were all phenomenal. Um, it was great to spend time with some of the black toe running uh, representatives from Toronto as well. You guys were all lovely. Um, and to every athlete that we got to interact with this weekend, like, thank you for taking the time to kind of chat with us. Um, those moments were all really, really special. And thank you to the athletes. You guys, um, it was so nice getting to know you all. Um, you're all phenomenal individuals, both on and off the track. Um, I had a pleasure watching you race, a pleasure training with you and uh, seeing the sights of Boston with you. And uh, I look forward to our next time uh, interacting at a meet or another camp or whatever, but you guys are great and you guys uh, um, me familia now and made that trip um, as awesome as it was.